G'day, thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Tony and today we're going to make a painting of Jake and Elwood Blues, the Blues Brothers. So last week I was listening to the radio when uh, A Soul Man, the song came came on. Uh, you know the one, I'm a soul man. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, uh, Blues Brothers, obviously. Um, and I like, uh, I've got the album somewhere and I just love it. We just don't listen to albums anymore. Um, Spotify, I blame for this. But anyway, so I thought, yeah, of course, I checked it out. It's been 40 years since the movie came out. Anyway, here I'm drawing uh, Jake. Jake Blues, uh, John Bellucci, obviously, obviously um, who was from Chicago, so the whole story probably comes from him as well. Um, anyway, so he's fun to draw. There's a lot of hair everywhere. He's a bit of a messy one. Uh, you'll see uh, Elwood is very, very clean and tidy, but Jake is all over the place. So just drawing so far, putting a bit of shading, but nothing that will stay anyway, just to get a, an idea of the proportions. Uh, I'm, at this point, I'm not sure if it's going to actually look like Jake, so I'll put his name there so that people would know it's actually Jake, Jake uh, uh, Blues. And now starting on uh, Elwood, Elwood, a little bit taller, uh, so Dan, Dan Aykroyd, um, a little bit neater. Again, just doing the tracing, or the drawing rather. All this will be traced in, in Sharpie again afterwards and then painted over and retraced re anyway. So this first um, uh, drawing it doesn't really matter. It's just for, for me to know where, where it's all going to sit and how what it's going to look like. So here's Elwood coming up. Of course, the black ties, black jackets, black sunglasses, black hats, all these are the, like the uniform of the, the the Blues Brothers. You can't go around that, which is good because I wouldn't know how to draw their eyes. So sunglasses is good for me. It's the first time I'm actually drawing um, real people. So hopefully uh, they'll come they'll come nice they'll come out nice and people will actually re recognize them i put the name there as well just to make sure people know who who's on the drawing all right a bit more detailing see what it looks like this looks all right start tracing i like using those those big sharpies they they make the the drawing pop out really nicely Just have to be careful because obviously that's a lot more difficult to cover but yep it's looking good so you can't do the whole jacket in black like that because it's actually shiny that that sharpie is uh like the ink from there is, is a bit shiny compared to the paint so what i'll probably do is paint the jacket in black and then trace over in sharpie and the the bits that i'll trace will shine out sunglasses will probably be all in sharpie because they're so iconic they need to shine there you go, here's the hair. When you think back at that movie, when you think of it really, I mean, so many great people in there, like Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, James Brown, John Lee Hooker, uh, who else? Carrie Fisher's in there, you know, like even Spielberg is in there, I think. Uh, Shaka Khan, there's so many people, it's, it's, it's an awesome movie. I'm, I'm tracing the outline of the names with the Sharpie here because I just don't feel my skill with the paintbrushes high enough. I'll paint over it later on, but to be more precise, Sharpie. It's erasing now all the, all the, all the pencil marks. I need to get rid of all this before I put some paint on. This actually takes much longer than what I put on the camera there. And off we go with the painting. Uh, what color? What color? A blue, of course. The Blues Brothers, after all. If you ever wonder, that, that recording there is uh, about 12 to 15 times faster than real life. So, yeah, one second of the video is actually 12 seconds of me. Oh, the background's done. Bit of a bit of skin tone. 
and then we'll go for the jackets. So you know that this the, the movie came out and then the album came out. So many good songs on the album that are not in the movie. If you have only seen the movie and never listened to the album, get the album. There's a lot more there. Just detailing the names a little bit better um, with a finer sharpie, just so it look a little bit better. Not my best work, that. There we go, painting the jackets. John Bellucci first. Did you know that John Bellucci died like two years after the movie? He died at 33, which is super young. It's a shame. Did a few movies before, pr prior to the, um, the Blues Brothers, but still, shame. Dan Aykroyd, however, is still, still alive. He was born in 52, so he's somewhere around 67 at the moment. Not sure what he's doing at the moment, but um, such an iconic actor as well. Many, many, many good movies. Such an iconic duo when you think of it. Well, they really worked well together, didn't they? What's your favorite duo? Let us know in the, in the comments. Who is it? Like Laurel and Hardy or Starsky and Hutch, Thelma and Louise, Bonnie and Clyde, Han Solo and Chewie. <laughs> Just let us know. If you get a lot of comments, maybe I'll, I'll do a painting if something strikes me. Speaking of painting, I do all my painting on like uh, canvases I buy from $2 shops. Um, this one is 11 by 14 inches, which is 28 by 35 centimeters, something. And I use only acrylic paint and Sharpies, uh, just because they're easy to use. Also, I prime all the canvases with uh, gesso, 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 the white stuff you put to, uh, to prime your canvas. Sorry for the change of color here. Um, started to paint during the day, not just during the night. So the lighting is a little bit different. Here I'm applying some shading under the, on the necks, just to give a bit of a depth, I guess, to the, to the painting. And a little trim to the hat. Still painting. Doesn't look so good without the, the Sharpie, so... But keep in mind, all this will be retraced, and there we go. Gives it a bit of a, like a comic sort of look, like a comic book sort of drawing. Not sure what's up with the video here. The, the faces look a lot more paler, uh, yellower than they actually are. Uh, probably a setting on the camera or something. Overall, this is quite an easy project and it's quite cheap as well. I mean, the canvas costs $6, I think. Uh, each of the colors, probably $2. So you're looking at $15 altogether. Uh, for this, the Sharpies, you can buy a pack of 10 for like 10 bucks. Everything I've used for this painting is in the description, so if you're looking for advice or, or prices or whatever, uh, just make sure you check in there. Um, so yeah, cool, fun project. This one is going to go in my office, just above my desk. There you go, that's pretty much the final product. Uh, it took a few hours, but I think it looks, it looks all right. Uh, if you like this video, then please like and subscribe and share with all your friends. Uh, you can also click on some of the videos that are going to pop up here. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating.